Well, good morning, everyone. I'm back out at English Bay, and um, I'm going to go a little faster now. I've gone about halfway digging literally every single target, and it is beyond exhausting. Um, I've pulled so much trash out of this beach. I don't think it'll ever be gone, but um, I am going to try and move a little faster, get through the whole beach so I can tackle some other areas. All right, let's get scooping. Oh, that's interesting. It's two things. Got a nickel and a pull tab in the same scoop. Hmm. 21 with a tight circle. Nickel. Okay, I got a junky 20s that I just uncovered here. It's a super corroded dime. It's an interesting sound. Oh, there we go. It's a uh, corroded American dime. I'm guessing this is a bottle cap. Hmm, where'd it go? Oh, it was a dime. Oh, nice. Quarter? Oh, interesting. Got a neat bead. Another screwdriver bit. I find these a lot around here. Okay, so I think that's a quarter with that uh, smear on the map there. Oh, I missed that. Of course, another screwdriver bit. What? Oh, no way. That, um, 
I mean, I see, uh, I see some copper wearing through on the, the connectors, but not on the links. If there's some more of it in here, it's clearly just shredded. Something broke off the other end. Hmm. Well, let's see. Maybe there's another piece down there. Okay, not too far from the necklace. Got a earring back. Okay, let's uh, go to deep mode. I found the earring that goes with that backing, I think. Oh, this has its own backing. So this is another earring. What is going on here? Oh. Oh no, where'd it go? There it is. All right. So, it's probably just going to be bling. Yeah, it's bling. So then, how is that? That has its own backing. I found another earring backing. It seemed to be unrelated. So weird. A little anodized piece of metal. I have absolutely no idea what it would be for. Hmm. Strange. Found somebody's compass bracelet. I'll uh, post it on the Vancouver subreddit and see if anybody has looking for that. Rusty dime. Coin spill, I guess. Okay, penny. All right, another crusty dime. down nickel. And another worn down nickel. Last time I did this tide, I was finding all pennies, now I'm finding all nickels. It's interesting. And dimes, I guess. Hmm, quite a coin spill in this relatively small area. I guess this is where all the coins have been concentrating. All modern though, unfortunately. Another quarter. 
The uh, seagulls and a crow are enjoying the holes that I've made in the low tide. Oh. Oh wow, it's a, a totally pockmarked loony. Never seen one do that before. Wow. Oh. There you go. From my birth year. 1988. Ugh, should have brought my rubber boots. My shoes are getting rather soaked, but oh well. for a dime. Any? Oh, I definitely found the heavy area. And I have collected quite an entourage. Corroded nickel. What? Oh, nice. <clears throat> Corroded quarter again. <sighs> Jeez, let me find one nice one. Oh, one right on the surface. Must have dug that up and not noticed. All these eaten quarters. Twenty-two, twenty-three, with a really tight circle. That's promising. Oh, no way. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my god. No way. No way, no way, no way. Oh my god. That has got to be the nicest ring I have ever found. Holy crap. Oh my god. I'm I I'm speechless. I mean not speechless. I'm I'm stammering. Ho 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 ho. So it's stamped 10k. And I'm I don't know what what gems those are, but uh oh my god. That is beautiful. Holy crap, this has been a good day. Thanks, seagulls. I'll, uh, I'll dig up some more clams for you. Wow. Well, best find of, I mean, the last year, probably, right now. That's a nice one. Okay, well, I'm still riding high from finding that ring a second ago. I'm just going to methodically search this whole low tide section because it's clearly where the currents have been depositing all the heavy stuff. I've been finding dimes and quarters and nickels and pennies and now that ring. And 
pretty nice one too. And I just turned the sensitivity up to max. It's gonna chirp like crazy, but I wanna get everything. Quarter. Well, that's a penny signal if I've ever seen one. There it is. Sounds like some junkie clad. Quarter. Hmm, I actually see this one it's sticking out of the sand. What do we have here? Oh, cute. I actually, I don't know what that is. I think maybe an ear gauge? Probably stainless. Cool. There we go. Another super eaten away dime. Crusted quarter, <laughs> eaten all the way through. Nineteen through to twenty-three. Hmm. Now it's thirty something. Holy quarter. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Never seen a quarter come out that color before. Tent steak. Another destroyed quarter. Oh, it's another screwdriver bit. Hmm. That's three today. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty happy. That was probably one of the best hunts I've ever had, and definitely the best one of this year so far. 
So trash to treasure ratio, as you can see, uh, very good. A lot less trash um, down in the low tide. I'm glad I went down there. Uh, it went out really far today. I wasn't planning on it. I was just going to go through the sand and be a little bit more picky, but the low tide uh, looked nice. I was wearing the wrong shoes, so my, my leather boots are soaked, but whatever. It was worth it. Um, so let's get started. We've got um, Super Decayed Looney, a couple of relatively fresh pieces of clad, quarter and a dime, and just a whole pile of completely destroyed quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies. Uh, I don't think any of those are going to be spendable anymore. They're just eaten all the way through. Some of them are paper thin, some of them are half. <laughs> Hilarious. Our clad is terrible. A uh, whole bunch of uh, little bits and pieces of bling jewelry. I'm pretty sure this is a, an ear gauge. goes into a stretched ear. Don't know what this is, but it was intentional at some point. It's anodized little piece of uh, stainless or something. Anybody has any idea what that is, let me know. Back of an earring front of an earring, uh, but it's got its own little rubber backing, so I'm not sure if they're the same piece. Little bead, uh, oh, got uh, somebody's compass card bracelet, so uh, for those of you not in Vancouver, this is our transit system, uh, and uh, you can wear this bracelet and tap it to uh, pay your fare, so I will uh, try and get that back to the owner, I'm sure they're looking for it. We also got uh, this awesome chain, which I don't know if it's gold, I think it might be, the back, a uh, little sizing bit of the links, are not uh, precious. They're copper worn through. But this chain um, really looks gold, and it's fairly heavy. So I'm going to test it, look at it really closely with a microscope, and see, and I'll let you know. Uh, I'll put it uh, right here, if it is or not. And save the best for last. This uh, is probably one of my best ring finds ever. Uh, best ring today, or this year for sure. So this is a 10 karat uh, gold ring, quite heavy. I don't know what those stones are. I think they're too pale to be emeralds, so if anybody has an idea of what those stones might be, let me know in the comments. But man, that was a nice ring find. It was a solid 20 on the manticore. A really nice little circle in the low tide. Super easy to find. Uh, this is just, I'm over the moon with that one. That's a fantastic find. <laughs> well, hope everyone enjoyed watching that one. I think I'm spoiled now. I'm going to be expecting this every time. But uh, yeah, we'll keep at it. I might do English Bay once or twice more with, you know, being a bit picky, but it's, uh, it's so trashy and it's exhausting. So I might uh, start branching out, do some parks, do some other beaches. I'm trying to get to a field that I found uh, next to a big Ikea. That looks quite interesting, but uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how all that goes. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Scoopy Joe, out.